Secretary General, Mr. so nice to see you. Welcome to the How are United you? Nations. Thank you. It's I'm my pleasure. very honored to well, welcome you to the United Nations for the first good. time yeah. as the first president to attend this uh, climate change. Well, it's a, it's a great honor, and I'm, uh, you're doing a great, great job. So I know this will be a busy week for you. That's home. That's us. And on it, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever lived, lived out their lives. Some say tackling climate change is too expensive. They are wrong. The opposite is true. We will pay an unacceptable price if we do not act now. Avoiding the impacts of climate change through mitigation of emissions would provide incalculable benefits, including economic expansion and employment. If those in this August gathering do not act on time, all of us would become leaders and citizens of failed states because we would be failing in our sacred duty to protect this planet, which gives life to all species. Science leaves us with no space for inaction now. Are projected to be exposed to water stress due to climate change. It is true that for too many years, mankind has been slow to respond or even recognize the magnitude of the climate threat. It is true of my own country as well. We recognize that. But this is a new day. It is a new era. And I'm proud to say that the United States has done more to promote clean energy and reduce carbon pollution in the last eight months than at any other time in our history. We must also energize our efforts to put difficulty is no excuse for complacency. Unease is no excuse for inaction. And we must not allow the perfect to become the enemy of progress. Each of us must do what we can, when we can, to grow our economies without endangering our planet, and we must all do it together. We must seize the opportunity to make Copenhagen a significant step forward in the global fight against climate change. All countries working toward the common yeah,符合发达国家长远利益。我们应该努力实现发达国家和发展中国家双赢,实现各国利益和全人类利益共赢。The shrinking of the Arctic Ocean ice cap to unprecedented levels. This is not a new round of blame game because in the context of the struggle for the survival of our planet, pointing fingers would not only be in poor taste, but also counterproductive. Rather, what is urgently required is a shared responsibility of a mitigation and adapt adaptation strategy that leaves no one behind because we are all in this together. Primero agradecer nuevamente a las Naciones Unidas por permitirme. Todos los países o empresas o transnacionales que tienen que ver con el daño que causa al medio ambiente tiene la obligación de reconocer. Reconocer lo más correcto, lo más sano. 
Y por eso hay que construir una, un tribunal para defender el medio ambiente. Es un equipo que investigue, que estudie científicamente para ver qué países realmente hacen daño o qué empresas transnacionales, transnacionales hacen mucho daño con el medio ambiente. By 2020 And I, I, I choose to be optimistic. I remain hopeful that we will have sufficient progress in the legislative process prior to Copenhagen to allow the U.S. to play a very constructive leadership role and assist the world in getting an agreement. Can you give us an assessment of President Hu Jintao's speech, particularly uh, 